Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a Winnebago Sunstar, but not anyone, a special edition, National Park edition. This is the 2023 Winnebago Sunstar model 29 NP, which as you can see on the side, it's the Canyonlands edition from the National Park Foundation collaboration. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Sunstar and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today I am super excited to be showing you guys the National Park Edition Winnebago Sunstar. I think it looks fantastic. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of the Sunstar's decor choices. So when I saw this one, I got very excited. This is the Badlands. You can also get it in the Glacier. Bing! Thank you, Miss Jen, for showing everybody the Glacier package as well. Before we show everybody this awesome RV, here's Andrea. Hi everybody! Hey Andrea! Hi, excited to see this. Yes. Every time there's some kind of special edition or anything new. Yes. It's exciting. Absolutely. I actually really love that as well. And just so everybody knows, since you mentioned special edition, uh, in a few weeks, if anybody's attending the Alliance RV rally, they're going to be getting a free bottle of liquefied special edition. We're changing it to Alliance Blue just for the Alliance <laughs> rally. That is so cool. Andrea, but but you can't buy it, Andrea. Right. It's you gotta go to edition. the rally. You gotta go to the rally. Model is Sunstar 29 NP. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 30 feet long. This is the only Sunstar National Park Edition. It's the same as the Vista National Park Edition. There's only one floor plan. It's a 30 foot floor plan. The reason why this floor plan works for most state and national parks you know what i'm saying right up front here we have the nice big windshield look at the blacked out lights and the blacked out grill that's some of the features that you're getting in the national park edition and again if you don't like some of these features or you want to save a little bit of money you can get the traditional sunstar vista you know what i'm saying coming on down the side here we do have black mirrors on both sides of the motorhome cameras integrated here and then look at these rims andrea wow. the blacked out rims i love those and then check out those tires they're the conti hybrids by continentals 245-70 r19.5 very cool this is a ford motorhome even though you don't see the badging and that means it has a 7.3 liter v8 it is the godzilla engine and then andrea take a step back and look at this awesome paint job this is the Canyonlands edition, which is really nice. I think it looks fantastic. And the Glacier one, if you guys saw, is kind of like a bluish tint to it. You got frameless windows on this motorhome. Uh, I don't believe you have frameless windows on a traditional Sunstar. And you do have this very nice armless awning with wind sensor, Andrea. Coming on down here, it's such a clean look. It's funny, I don't like black rims on motorhomes, but I think it looks fantastic with this paint job. Very nice slam latch doors here. A pet pal for you to leash up your furry friend. Really, really nice. Right here we do have speakers on the outside with an outside television here. More storage on the outside. And Andre, you just tell this? this motorhome was just put together very well. Check this out. Oh, nice. We have a huge outside kitchen. Oh, see, this is cute. National Park Foundation. We got a nice little refrigerator there. Look at what we got going see, on here. See, I like this. Look at that cute little sink. Nice little sink. That's adorable. And then look at this, Andrea. Psh, Mer America, heck yeah, John Cena. <laughs> Very nice. Just a nice little outside kitchen. You know, this is for more of the outdoor enthusiast. So they're going to want something like this. They're also going to want something like this, Andrea. This is the... I don't even know how to say it's that. It's an on... Uh, oh. It's an awning. It's like a little cab. Jen, look up those words and please insert a picture right here. Bing! So everybody can see what it looks like when it's all the way out. But it's kind of like a bat wing awning. You know what I'm saying? Really, really nice. I love the rear look of this. 
look at this like a little bit of that carbon fiber look the nice blacked out tail lights. There's the propane quick connect. Yes, ma'am. I was wondering where it was. Okay. If you all want to have the grill on the outside. Andrea, 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Again, I love the blacked out look and you do have your backup camera there. Also, there is no ladder, but it is a one piece fiberglass roof. Also with the Badlands Edition, Jen, you can get this off of Winnebago's website. Bing! It does have an upgraded solar package. Because again, not all national parks allow generators right. after certain hours. So you do need a little bit of a increase in amperage. You know what I'm saying? Coming around. So Andrea, we do have a Onan 5500 generator. Very nice. 50 amp power cord right there. Okay, not on a reel. Right here's where you fill up your fuel. Look at that big old storage. Very nice. Coming on down. Very nice wet bay. Yes, ma'am. Outdoor shower, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Here's where you dump in your tanks, water filtration system. Fan freaking tastic. Right over here, we got some more storage there. And Andre's point to the water heater. Yeah. Andrea, I didn't even see that I water did. heater. I did. I was like, wow. Because it blends in so it well. It does. Look at the paint. This they is did an a awesome, good job. It's an awesome looking paint job. And it's funny because my opinion is going to come across the wrong way. But my opinion, in years past, Winnebago had some of the laziest paint jobs on the exterior. I hate saying that, but, you know, it's just my personal opinion and preference. I think they, with that said, I think they killed it on this and the glacier because it just looks different and it beautiful. It does. You know what I'm saying? It looks very, very different. And, and it's I'm kind of it. one of those RVs that you're like, oh my gosh, what is that? Yes. And then right here, Andrea, your propane tanks. And then Miss Jen, one more time for America. If you could, bing, put all the specifications right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Badlands, Canyonlands, not the Badlands, the Canyonlands looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, everybody, here Check we go. Out. Cargo carrying capacity, 1,554 pounds. Okay, that's not very much. But it's Matt, a small motorhome. Don't, is there, are all the lights on? Okay, guys, look at this. So even with the slide in, you have a really good walkway. And let's see, I'm going through here. I have plenty of space. You can definitely open the fridge. Here is the bathroom. And look, you can use the bed with the slide in. I love that. Yes, and Andrea, while we get these slide outs out, we do gotta take a moment to thank the sponsor of this episode. Spring is here, and that means it's time to get back to the great outdoors and go camping. But don't let a bad night's sleep ruin your camping trip. That's where our friends at RVMattress.com come in. They have a wide selection of mattresses designed specifically for RVers. All of their mattresses are made 100% in the USA and they're using the highest quality of materials available and offering free shipping. And not only that, with our promo code MAT, you get 25% off your purchase when you click our link down in the YouTube description below. So why wait? Upgrade to a comfortable and supportive mattress now from RVMattress.com and start enjoying your camping trip like never before. So visit them today by going to RVMattress.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. Andre, now it's slide outs open. I wish people could feel what we see. I know, you know what I'm it's, it's like, just so different. Well, it's, everything's built, most, I forget the percentage, most of Winnebago's. All, other brands, they're not really making their stuff. They're just importing it all and assembling it. Winnebago actually makes their cabinets, they make their furniture, they make a lot of their motorhomes, so it just fits better and looks better and built, it's built better. This is, the it's built better quality but since it's built better it also costs more mm -hmm. than some of the competitors that's the same footprint you know what i'm saying to yes. each their own but i'll try it we're starting right up front here and here's what they didn't build they didn't build the ford you know why because ford is ford 7.3 liter v8 it's awesome we have our adjustable mirrors right here our cup holders 
Here's where we can control our lights and everything. Very nice steering wheel, easy to drive. Right there, you can see what's going on. Over here, we got a little old camera. Let's see. Let's click home. So, no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but you do have Bluetooth, rear camera, and Sirius XM radio. Look what I found. What's that? A little workstation. All right. Oh, right. That comes out. Look That's... how much leg space you have. Yes, I'm very comfortable. Um, Matt, this seat is comfy and both these seats do swivel. Yes. There is a pedestal table that goes there. Yes. And look at all these little cubbies up here. Very nice. Nice Not... MCD shade. Not only that, Andre, we do have the auto leveling right here. Cup holders there. And we even got USB right there. Now, what's this? Oh, you see, my light goes oh, on. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Let's get that AC Thank you. cranking. And then we have a bunk over the cab here. Yes. You do got to undo the seatbelt there. And then... This is always fun, huh? To find the switch. Yes. Oh, Just wow. Like Look how that. fast that is. Oh, yeah. That's one of the fastest ones I've seen. Very, very nice. Now, it is a little bit... I don't know what the pounds is, but it does have a safety net in there. Yes. And there is a ladder that goes here. But look at that. It goes up and down pretty fast. And it's very smooth, Andrea. And again, we don't know the weight because there's no sticker there. So we, we never want to assume. But I would imagine that it's going to be 350, 400 pounds, 500 pounds, something like that. We got a cabinet above the door. Yes, ma'am. Satellite receiver right there. And this is cute. You can put your keys up there and everything. And or... I love the little Winnebago touches there. You got the Winnebago right there. Over in the windshield, you see that? That's like a little Winnebago driving in the yes. forest there. Just little, little Easter eggs that Winnebago does, which is kind of nice. Right over here, check out this trim work right there. Looks really nice. You know, I like the ca the cabinetry color. I'm Me not, too. You know, I'm not a fond. I'm not fond of brown, but I like it. It has that natural kind of. Um, yes, that's what I'm liking about it. The natural kind of earthy look. I don't exactly, know. Exactly. Exactly. Right over here, uh, all we do have is the MCD privacy shades. We don't have daytime shades. And I'll tell you, we don't really have valances. Look what's going on they're here. They're so cute. I've seen this before. It's been a while, It's just though. like side valances yeah, or something. Yeah, they're like I don't little get curtains, and I think they're adorable. So that means... Approved! Bing! Oh, whatever it is, Andrea is liking it. <laughs> it's cute. And then we get this closed. Um, I'm sitting here at this... Oh, gosh. Guys... This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm sitting here in my theater seat. One, you got USB. Two, you got recline. You know what I'm saying? Very comfortable and nice. It actually works really well, especially in a motorhome that's only 30 feet long, right? I'm reclining. If you please look at the TV. I'm looking directly across at the TV, Andrea. I have a great viewing angle. I like that. But let's say, I bring my little pupper's Yuna with me. You think Yuna's gonna wanna sit like this? No. Just Love it. Like Wow. That. Now Yuna can lay here, put her head on my lap, and now we can enjoy these theater seats like it's a sofa. And even when it's in sofa mode, I can still recline my seat. You know, this is what we've been asking for. This is what I want. It's, I don't want a sofa. I don't want theater seats. I want that hybrid option. Combination. It just works so much exactly. better. Exactly. There is power right there as well, connecting to the kitchen. And then again, directly across is the TV. We also have a nice piece of storage. Andrea! Art Deco. Uh, no. You like this? No. I like it. I think it looks, sorry, tacky. I think it looks abstract of the Canyon Lance. Mm. I think it looks good. Right here, I we got some storage. Says, I think it screams, hello, I'm here. No, no, it says, hello, I'm here. Exactly. I like it. <laughs> guys, comment down below. Do you guys like this artwork or do you dislike this artwork? I'm a fan of the artwork. Andrea, I think I'm going to beat you this time. I think that if it was a little bit more toned down and maybe had framing, it would look a lot better. But because it just look, it's just so simple like that, it just looks cheap. So I'm sorry. That's my opinion. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I think people are gonna agree with me okay. and they're gonna like it. Right oh, here. I forgot about that. Yep, this is how the table flips up. Look There's at also that. cup holders there. The table does drop down to make a bed, which is very nice. Um, you know, really, really good. Nice size dinette as well, Miss Andrea. Okay. Is this down there? Yep, and again. Breakers. 
This table, this dinette, everything, this is there made. There is storage underneath. Yeah, it's made by Winnebago. Can you show everybody the storage? Yeah, so you kind of have to take everything off. But I did see the handle here, if you can see it, Matt. Right here. Very nice. And it supposedly does have the piano hinges, but you still got to be careful because it's not really connected to that back piece. Okay, okay. Very nice size storage underneath. Yes, very nice size storage. At least they offered that. Yes. This is the first time I get to take stuff apart. Right, you're doing good, Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. And Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $232,000. $911, Andrea, MSRP. Sale price, because it's a Winnebago, we're gonna give you guys the absolute lowest sale price we're allowed to tell you on a video, which is 25% off, to a sale price of $174,995. Andrea, that is a phenomenal price. But guess what? I know we can get everybody an even better price than that, on the Sunstar or the Vista, the National Park Edition or the non-National Park Edition. So if you guys are interested in this motorhome, all you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. I've linked the website down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033. Reach out to a member of my team because my team is here to help get everybody the absolute best price in America. Andrea? Show us this awesome kitchen. Okay, look at this. Nice cabinets. Wow. Got a shelf in there. I like that they have a window in here. Really pretty solid surface countertop. Yes, ma'am. Over here we have a drawer. I was seeing if it was soft close. Very, right. very nice. Double sink. Got an extension here. Okay. I like how modern it is. Got a decent amount of counter space. Yes. And under here, we have space for a trash can. Yes, ma'am. And then here we have another drawer. Yep. And then another drawer. And then one more. Wow. And Very then nice. Over here is the gray stone microwave. Okay. A little bit of backsplash. I like it, a little honeycomb action. I'm not really fond of it. I I kind of wish there was a little bit more. Yeah, no. In that strip. For sure. We got a three burner propane Furion cooktop and an oven. Wow. And then another drawer here. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got the, okay, now. Electric fridge. Yes, <laughs> it very, always confuses very me. Very nice. Decent size fridge for this uh, size RV. I was thinking there wasn't a pantry, but there is one. You thought wrong. Look at this. Look at that. And they are so cute with their little Winnebago storage bins here. Super cute, as wow. you can see. Yes. And then you got two more shelves down yes, there. Yes, very nice. And then Andrea, coming on into this bathroom. I like the handles. Yes. Just like a nice door, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at this. It's got a decent step. It's not too bad, but it is still a high step up. Andre, I'm liking the shower. It feels like a good size. Even though it's a 24 by 36, oh, it just feels one. really, I mean, this might be 30 by 30. No, I don't know. I like that. It's just there. really good. I got plenty of space in here. Nice head height and everything. Really awesome size shower. I really do like the door. Behind okay. you? So we've got some storage above. Yes. Nice towel rack here. Very nice. And then we've got another big mirror here, as you can see. We've got the medicine cabinet. Wow, look at that little uh, Winnebago towel holder too. Very cute, really cute uh, rectangle sink there. And then some more storage there. Uh-huh. Good spot for the toilet paper. And? And Oh, look, I didn't even see that sitting there. I was trying to hide it. The best RV toilet treatment in the industry. That's right. Go to primepoopinposition.com to pick up a bottle. Guys, thank you to everybody who's been buying it. Yes. It is our small business and we've been bootstrapping it, Andrea. And listen, very, very soon, we're expanding our product line to, to tablets. So if you haven't gotten liquefy, please pick up a bottle. It's the camping season. But if you don't like the liquid for some weird reason, you weirdos, <laughs> we got the droplets coming in soon. Make sure you set your bell notifications on. 
Pour some toilet, Andrea. I want to love it. But Andrea, I'm not going to pass. I I can't pass it, but I'm not going to fail it. I'm just touching a little bit right here and here. It's unfortunate because it is National Park, you know, on a different day, Andre, I might have passed it. I'm not going to pass it, but I think it, it works extremely well. You know what I'm saying? I do. And then coming on into the bedroom, Andrea, look at this. We have a huge wardrobe space right here. Very big opening right here with a nice pocket door. And then over here, behind the TV, we got storage. A nice little uh, place for, you know, you to put your cell phones and everything. And then look at this storage right there as well. We have very nice drawers. Six of them, Andrea. You think this is enough storage for you? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea's like, I can't get the uh, National Park Edition uh, with all her clothes. Very nice. And then Andrea, there's something a little funky right here. I think it's really high. I, I feel like it is. It's up to my belly button. And imagine putting a RVmattress.com right here. Yes. I'm gonna need a ladder just to get up top. I mean, that's probably why they have that little step thing there, but still, it's still pretty high. It's a pro and a con, Andre, and we'll get to that in just Good a few storage. moments. storage. But yes, this is phenomenal storage. And because the bed's elevated, it's actually easy to get to storage. You know what I'm saying? Very yeah. nice. There is the ladder that goes to the bunker with the cab. Yes. And then, and then over here, we've got some storage. Very, very nice. Andre, you touched on it earlier. I do like the rustic look. You know what I'm saying? We got storage over there. Storage. We got a little cubby with power oh, and USB over there. Okay. And then a drawer right there. Yeah, we got a drawer there. And then there's like another little cubby down there too. Nice. And then just so you know, it's the same storage on that side as well. I'll follow along sides with a nice window right there and a uh, mirror right yes. there. <laughs> Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the National Park Edition. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome, three things we just don't like about it. What do we do with first? Let's do three things we dislike about it first. First. Mm -hmm. hmm. I have one. Give me the camera. Okay. Go so on down. I'm going to go out here. And it, to they're me. little, but I will say, and I'm just going to combo mine. I don't like the, the vents in the floor. Okay. And I don't like this picture. No. Yeah, I just feel like it looks really tacky in here. Don't take away my artwork. <laughs> and yeah, with this, you know, being a national park edition, mm -hmm. you would think you'd be going to the national parks, right? Yeah. So as you're coming in and out and you're dirty and stuff, you don't want that getting in your vents. Andrea? Especially with your pets. That's your, it's your opinion, your show. We're just, we're just here along for the ride with you. That is dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two for me, it's gonna be really hard because, you know, normally I have a lot of dislikes when it comes to the Sun Stars, but again, they really knocked it out of the park with this. So number two for me is gonna be the flimsy uh, tray. You had a nice area, nice tabletop. They could have pulled that sucker all the way out and made like a really nice workstation, workstation area. Yeah. And I think that would have been fan freaking tastic. So. I kind of just wish they did a little bit of a better job there. That's number two. And then Andrea, before I show you this like number three, look at this. Oh, for your shoes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Very that's nice. So cute. That's just like number two. And then Andrea, this like number three is gonna be a big one. For me, for my short people out there, the bed right here is just way too incredibly high. Um, it's not a problem because there's a step up there. But if you have like bad hip problems, this bed might be too high for you. Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. The reason why this bed's so high is because there's an outside kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And I love that outside kitchen. It's such a small motor home. I really think they killed it, knocked it out of the park, and it looks freaking fantastic. Andrea, I'm willing to climb up a bed to have an outside kitchen. That's like number one. What's like number two? I gotta say, I'm really liking the interior in here as far as the cab. On a Winnebago? I know. Right, I doing know. good things. And I love it. I love like the countertop is really pretty. I just think because it looks different, yep. maybe that's why I like it so much. Yep. But it just, it feels very comfortable in here. It, it does. And Andrea, I'm gonna combo that with the outside paint. You know what I'm saying? The Canyon Land Edition I think looks fantastic. That's number two. And then number three is gonna be a combo. 
I love how great this floor plan fits being 30 feet, but truthfully, I love this sofa. This is one of the best sofas I've ever sat in because for me, the way I camp, I want to have theater seats directly across from the TV, but I also want to have a sofa so my little puppers can join me while I'm sitting down at the end of the day watching TV on the inside. But Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in this Winnebago or any Winnebago, we can get you a better price than what we can advertise it for. All you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to me any way you can. Our team is here to help get everybody the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Winnebago does read the comments. They do watch the videos, so please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.